Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. So it's been a little while since we last took a look at Sanctuary Shattered Sun, and last time we saw battles with reasonably large numbers of units, but not really any performance data, or indeed the systems it was running on at the time. Well, over the past months, the team have been busy beavering away on Sanctuary, and now they've got an internal performance test and demo of the game. And they very kindly shared some footage of this with me to show all of you. So many thanks to developer Special Bread as well for taking the time to assist me with that. I just want to stress that this is not a really high resolution footage because it's more about showing off the performance measurements, etc. And it's just very kindly something that Special Bread took on his own machine for me. And just to remind everyone, Steel Speaks is still doing his monthly development update interviews with the team, and I will link to his latest video down below. So the footage will just run in the background, you can peruse that as you wish, and the music that's included is actually from the game as well. Now, Steel Speaks interview goes into a lot more detail on the next couple of points, but I'm just going to give you a quick overview here. So the team have been working on various things and one of those things has been an array of new maps including some maps based on the desert. The other thing they've been working on is new technology that allows the map to go on and on and then into fog so it doesn't actually look like there is a real edge to the maps. Now, obviously, there's a lot of technology behind that, but from a gameplay perspective, it just looks really good. It's more immersive, and it makes you feel like the whole Dyson Sphere is just going on and on. But obviously, the really big thing was this internal demo, which has been tested by the team, and Steel Speaks has now had a go of it as well, so you can check that out on his channel too. But basically, they've been working on getting this up and running, so they have an in-house performance test, and you know they've got a couple of different scenarios. One of them, you can build buildings and do some unit battles. And they've also confirmed that this is working over the network. So they've tested this between themselves in multiplayer. This isn't actually available in the sample I think that Steel Speaks got, but it's something that they've managed to do internally. And by the sound of it, it's running pretty well, which is impressive with the amount of units that are on screen. For what is very effectively pre-alpha, where they haven't even gone down the route of optimization and stuff yet. One of the other things you'll notice here is that the UI is very basic, and again, it's because they just haven't needed to do that yet. It's not for release to the public, so that's something they'll be working on down the line when they're aiming to do the Kickstarter demo. Now, one of the other important things to stress here and that the team have asked me to mention is that right now, every model in the game is extremely high poly. There is no LOD, there is no level of detail based on zoom or anything else. So everything you are seeing in this video is the highest quality it can be. And again, just because it hasn't been important to add that stuff and optimize it as yet that's something that comes further down the development track and as you can see sometimes during the video when zooming in the frame rate drops because of the amount of models that you're zoomed in on that are such high quality now once the game is optimized and the level of detail adjustments have all been added the game will run even better than it does now and frankly i think it's running pretty well already these aren't exactly low frame rates that he's getting here now, for the record, this footage is on Special Bread's own machine that he uses for development, and that is a Ryzen 9 7900X and a 2080 Ti. And as you'll notice when he's brought up the task manager, you can see it's using all of the CPU cores, but not using any of them at 100%. And remember, Special Bread is also recording this at the same time and using some CPU power for that. And he's also technically running both the server and the client, so that's using extra power as well. So you can imagine having your friend with the best machine host the game and then everyone else running as clients, they're going to have a really good experience, or at least that's the plan. So basically what you can see from this is that the GPU is technically the bottleneck. Now that's rare in these types of games, usually it's the CPU that is the bottleneck. And what you have to remember is GPU performance will improve massively once the game has been optimized and level of detail has been added. None of that is in there yet. None of that's been done. So we're seeing the basics of the basics before all of this stuff is added. And really, all of this goes to show how far the team have come, because one of the big concerns from the engine they're using and everything else was that the game probably couldn't handle thousands of units without collapsing in on itself. But the team have done an incredible job getting all of this working the way they have without killing the CPU. Okay, it's hammering the GPU a little right now, but that's the same in most games. And once they optimize this, obviously, frame rates are only going to get better, so... 
feels like right now they're in a great position. And just to state, this is also the type of content they hope to eventually have in the Kickstarter demo. Obviously a lot more polished with a proper UI and everything working a lot better because they want to put out the best content they can for the Kickstarter to get as many backers as they can when the time comes. But for a small team so far, they've achieved amazing things. And if you watch their interviews and you can see the old interview on my channel with one of the team members, you can really get a sense of how much passion these guys have for this project. And, you know, Special Bread, for example, was working on a language for one of the factions while he was on holiday. How crazy is that? Taking a break and holiday from work works on work anyway. I mean, that's dedication to the game. But that's really all I had for you in terms of a little update from the team at the moment. Thank you again to Special Bread for the footage. It's really amazing to see how much progress this has made and how many units you can have on screen now. It's looking amazing. Let me know down in the comments how you all think it is looking so far. But I would say I have very high hopes for this game. And I'm very, very excited to get what could be very much the spiritual successor to Forged Alliance. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon.